And we are back and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an area graph in Adobe Illustrator. On the view I've got the smart guides and snap to point only activated and I use the tool for that. So right click on the graph tools and there's the area graph tool. You can hold shift but in this case I want to make it a little bit wider on the x-axis so I drag that freeform. Let me position that a little bit to the left with the selection tool and now I go into the spreadsheet that opened up. The first cell needs to be empty and let's just assume we've got various sources of income. I'll just call them as source 1, 2, 3, 4 and we want to compare how much they made us over the years. Keep in mind you need to have numerical values otherwise you won't see any graph being created. Let me just add five years. And now I'll need to add these numerical values. And even if you have one data set fully filled out, you can't create the area graph. So depending on how many data sets you've got, you need to fill them all out. Otherwise you won't see anything happening. Let me adjust some random values and I click on OK and now we can finally see what we've got. So the sources, they build the different areas and you see them in the legend. And the years. These are the parameters for our x-axis and the numerical values they build in a sum per data set the y-axis. You can use the selection tool right click and type and add a drop shadow. I don't want to have that here. In general there is not much to adjust here but we can change obviously the colors. Make sure it's selected and ungroup it. There's a warning message when you first do so. Ungroup it further on the object until you can't ungroup it anymore. And then select the areas. You can't use the group selection tool here. That doesn't work with the area graph. So we'll use the regular selection tool and just shift click on the legend and on the area. So just hold shift and click on both and then change the fill color and both adjust it at the same time. These are the basics of creating these area graphs in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.